September 10th, traditionally the peak of hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin. We're tracking three systems, but none of which pose a threat to Florida. I'm Jeff Hoffman with an update on the tropics. It's a triple no threat, if you will. Gabrielle made a comeback overnight into your Tuesday morning, now passing near the island of Bermuda with 50 mile per hour winds. Not really a threat to the United States, but there will be some fringe impacts up in the northeast and near Nova Scotia. Umberto likely to become our season's first hurricane on Wednesday. Not really an interest to any land areas, only a shipping interest as the storm makes a right turn and heads for the eastern, northeastern parts of the Atlantic. Of greater interest and closer to home will be this, Invest 93L, a system that has a high chance, according to the Hurricane Center, of developing into a named storm by Friday. It would be Ingrid as it moves into the southwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico. As of Tuesday afternoon, Gabrielle, 50 mile per hour winds, possibly strengthening a bit once it passes Bermuda, but then it becomes post-tropical, interacting with a trough of low pressure moving off the east coast of the United States. There may be some long period swells and an increased rip current threat all up and down the eastern seaboard, but no direct impacts from Gabrielle. And of course, no impact expected from Umberto, but it is interesting to note that there could be some rapid strengthening Wednesday into Thursday as a strong Category 1, possibly Category 2 storm. Then it hits cooler waters and moves westward in a weakened state. No immediate threat, but we'll watch that and see what the remnants of Umberto does across the Atlantic. The system that's worth watching is this wave of low pressure here approaching the Yucatan Peninsula with high chance of development by Friday, especially in the Bay of Campeche, and then it will likely move north and west, potentially impacting southern Texas or the coastline there of Mexico. You can see on the model data, uh, there's a lot of moisture with this system moving north and west uh, toward Mexico. We'll keep an eye on it. Stay tuned.